What a difference an hour can make. At 5 p.m. on Friday, a massive artillery bombardment sets stubble fields ablaze, smoke billows across the horizon. By 6 p.m., all is quiet. The ceasefire, one first fragile step towards peace. But the devastation is lasting. The kindergarten in the village of Korman Ternova is destroyed. These two Ukrainian tanks look like they tried to leave in a hurry. Who knows why the Ukrainians chose to use this summer camp and kindergarten to position their tanks. But it looks like mortar rounds and grad rockets were fired in here, taking out that one and immobilizing the other two. The targeting was clearly extremely accurate. These two men think their village became the target when the Ukrainians sent in their tanks at midday on Friday. They hope this ceasefire lasts. It's the first night I've been able to sleep properly, this man says. I'm a man and I'm not meant to be scared, but only people who are crazy wouldn't be scared. Even if the ceasefire holds, there are huge challenges ahead. There are heavily armed groups on either side who don't care much for the rule of law. The Wolfsook insignia, one indication of the fascist inclinations of at least some of the Azov battalion's men fighting on the Ukrainian side. Our president afraid of uh, our battalions uh, w w of own will battalions, yeah? Volunteer battalion? Volunteer, yeah, sure. Uh, because we were fighting on Maidan, and he afraid such people uh, as we are because um, if we don't like our government, we, we will say that we don't like it. Maybe he afraid of some revolution, I don't know. Most have had enough of revolution and of its bloody aftermath. In Mariupol, Gennady Andreevich shakes his head gloomily when I ask whether the ceasefire will hold. Полный мрак. Неизвестно. Нас так запутали. There is so much confusion, he says. We really don't know what will happen, because when people say we must live in a united Ukraine, and we see at the same time Ukrainian forces in retreat, what should we think? This ceasefire gives both sides time to regroup and recover. A temporary respite, but a dangerous one. These hills are quiet for now, but who knows how long that may last. Diana Magne, CNN, Mariupol, Ukraine.